Well, we know from um, what the Prime Minister has now admitted um, that there was an event at Downing Street which he has said sorry over. He wishes and regrets uh, what had happened and that it should have been different to that. Um, now what we need to get is this investigation as soon as possible. I don't think it's helpful to have this investigation uh, going on for a protracted period of time. Um, that should um, be done as quickly as we can. And the, the Prime Minister has said that he takes responsibility. And whenever that report is produced, then he'll be tested on how he is taking that responsibility. But as a party, what has happened, we have said, um, shouldn't have happened. It has undermined the public health messages. It's right that the Prime Minister has said sorry for that. I only wish in Northern Ireland other people that went to events, um, which was against the rules, had said sorry. Indeed, some have said that they would never apologise for some of the things uh, that they attended. Um, what I want to see is this report now published as soon as possible, and then the Prime Minister will have to, to be tested on whether or not he's going to take responsibility based upon the findings of that report. I don't think the public um, accepted that justification if it was an attempt to justify that this wasn't a party and it was work-related. Um, so ultimately, Boris Johnson needs to be able to convince the general public. He also needs to be able to convince his own party. It, it is they who will decide the future of the Prime Minister. Either he takes a decision himself around his future or it'll be for the Conservative Party that will take that decision. Um, and this report, I think, is going to be very important, which Sue Gray is responsible for. I think there is an imperative for that work to come to a conclusion so that we can all draw a line under this and ensure that the, the wider public health messaging is consistent rather than being distracted by what's going on in Downing Street.